Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a subdomain and install WordPress on Namecheap, step by step. Whether you're building a new site or just need a subdomain for testing, this guide will help you get everything set up smoothly. First things first, let's log in to your Namecheap account. Head over to the Namecheap website and enter your login details. Once you're logged in, scroll down until you see the list of your domains. Locate the domain where you want to create the subdomain and under the hosting section, click on the Go to cPanel button. Now that you're inside cPanel, scroll down until you find the domains section. Here, click on Domains. On the next page, click on Create a new domain. This is where we will create the subdomain. In the input field, type in the subdomain you want. For example, if your domain is mywebsite.com, simply enter blog.mywebsite.com in the field. After you've typed the subdomain, click Submit. Now, wait for a moment while the subdomain is being created. You'll see a confirmation message once it's done. It's important to wait a few more minutes for the SSL certificate to activate, which could take up to 30 minutes or less. This ensures your subdomain will be secure. Once the subdomain is created, let's go back to the main cPanel dashboard. Scroll down until you reach the software section. In the software section, you'll find an option called WordPress Manager by Softaculous. Click on that, and it will take you to the WordPress installation page. From here, click on Install to begin the WordPress installation process. On the next page, make sure to select the subdomain you just created from the drop-down menu. Don't worry about the protocol, you can leave it as HTTPS, since the SSL certificate will activate soon. Now it's time to set up your admin account for the WordPress site. You can either choose a username and password manually, or use the auto-generated credentials. Select your preferred language for WordPress. Once done, scroll down and click Install. Now. Just wait for a few moments while WordPress is being installed on your subdomain. Once it's done, you'll see a link to your new WordPress site. As you can see, the WordPress installation is complete, but the SSL certificate might still need a few more minutes to activate. Let's wait a bit and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back and now when I click the link to the subdomain, everything is working perfectly and the SSL certificate is fully activated. Your WordPress site is now live and secure, and you're ready to start building. And that's it. You've successfully created a subdomain and installed WordPress on Namecheap. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this one.